Welcome back to another review, and today I'm going to take a look at the official art of Big Trouble in Little China. Actually, there are two of them. This is going to be the official making of Big Trouble in Little China as well. It's awesome. Put this aside, it's going to be the other one. But I'm a massive fan of that movie. I'm a massive fan of John Carpenter and all of his movies. But this movie, since my childhood, it's been great. I've been watching it over and over. It's still so good. Super weird side note, because I grew up in Switzerland. So my early childhood movies are all in German. So I really like that movie in German. I know it sounds super weird. But anyway, I want to go through and page through the book. And this is the official art of Big Trouble in Little China. This is the backside. Already nice artwork there. Spine, and that's the size of the book. So let me go through and show you. Oh, this art's already awesome with that creature. I love it. This is by Terry Bennett and Paul Terry, forward by John Carpenter and after by Eric Powell. Go through, you see the contents here. You have costume design, production design, creature, storyboards, graphic design, promotional artwork, the art of the comic book, collectibles, the art of the novel, and the art of Mondo. So there's a ton, a ton in there to cover. More younger looking John Carpenter. But I love seeing this here, like early sketches. You got a lot of behind the scenes photos and artwork. Costume design for Jack Burton. Lo Pan with a fantastic actor who's done so many, so many movies. Miao Yin, Thunder. It's like the early uh, Mortal Kombat type of stuff. Always love this. There comes a point in the movie where things just get so weird and you're either in or you're out. Rain and Lightning. Gracie Law. These are awesome too. Cool, cool designs here. Production design. Let's get scale comparisons for set designs. Close up of architectural designs. So cool. Look at that. If you ever wanted to see more details in terms of how they made this, how they designed this. More sketches. This is the hell of the upside down sinners. Creatures from the underworld. Absolutely fantastic. There should be sometime in the future a sequel, I believe, of that movie. Curious if we will see this one. Spoiler at the end of the movie. Love this one. Actually kind of cute to see the small version here. This is the Guardian. The Sewer Demon. Definitely a prop when you see this in the movie as it moves forward and back. But it's great. Storyboards, of course. Great to see. Early designs again, this is so Mortal Kombat. Little visual effect in the movie with the floating ball. Yeah, of course, the classic scene. Graphic design, Dragon of the Black Pool. There are many t-shirts. I think Last Exit to Nowhere has Porkchop Express t-shirts as well. Oh yes, the legend, Drew Struzan and the fantastic poster designs. Look at that, come on. Great detail, love this. And then we're getting into a different artwork, different poster designs. Covers for Blu-rays and DVDs is great. Again, you got art inspired by the film. It'd be kind of awesome to do a uh, side scroll or beat em up for a console or something. Of course, for me, it would be in any type of pixel art style. But you see different artists here and their contributions to the world. Very cool stuff here. <laughs> it's a nice face. Look at that. Oh, so cool. Not sure if they would incorporate old Kurt Russell into the sequel. This is so cool. Come on, how can you not have a game with these characters and these designs? So good. More artwork. There's really heavy focus on the art, clearly, which is really, really neat. I love seeing all that stuff. Varying cover artists. Oh, so nice. Look at that. I mean, even if you're not a fan of the movie, just the artwork, the designs, so much awesome artwork. Even if you're not a fan, like I said, I mean, look at this, this is so cool. Now, if you are a fan, of course, it makes it even better. Look at that, awesome. <laughs> Collectibles, then we get into this, come on. Love these little figurines, a Jack Burton figure. How can you not? Funko Pop does everything. You got her as well, nice. I actually, I should own these. There I say I don't own any of the toys or anything besides the books and the movie, you know, various versions of the movies that I got by now, special features, but this is really cool. Sideshow version, if I should have anything, it should probably be the Sideshow version. Shame, shame on me. Then you got different stories that were told, then the art of Mondo with their crazy posters that are usually sold out within seconds. 
And as you reach the end, these are really cool. Love that. That is so cool. And then it ends with the afterwork. Then you have that information. And as it ends here, that is the page through of the book. It's a smallish book in terms of the size, but the content is absolutely fantastic. I so love this. And frequently as I work at home or anything in terms of animation, I always have something playing in the background and Big Trouble in China in German is frequently a movie that I just, I can't get enough of. There's a really cool CD with the soundtrack as well, because the soundtrack is awesome. John Carpenter, of course. So in case you're interested, that's there. I should, I should put all the information in the description with all the links and stuff that you can get. It's so cool. But there you have it. That is the page through of the book. I will do another one of the official making of, which is also awesome. So there's gonna be a double whammy release today with two page throughs and reviews of the books. So stay tuned. And if you don't miss any of the other uploads that I do in terms of, you know, lectures and analysis clips, you know, that we'll just kind of browse around the channel. If you like this, I would love a subscribe and hit that bell button so you don't miss any of those uploads. And that's it for this one. And I'm gonna continue right away with the other book.